The gas to energy project is being pursued by the government will make electricity cheaper. That's according to the economists attached to the People's National Congress reform, Elson Lowe. Speaking at a press conference hosted by his party, he said that the project was conceptualized by the coalition government. This project was initiated because we felt the provision of additional and less costly electricity is vital for the future development of Guyana's economy. In addition, we also recognize the present urgent need for additional electricity generation capacity to ensure stable supply. Lowe said that the project cost was so much lower than he said that the government came into office, changed the location of the project, did no analysis, and insisted on continuing with the project. The government has presided over a striking escalation of costs, with the pipeline originally only expected to cost 304 million USD, inclusive of facilities to enable the natural gas to be used by a gas electricity plant and other suitable generators operated by GPL. This cost has ballooned to 1 billion USD impacting the final tariff that consumers will have to pay for electricity. By shifting the project to Wales, the government has added an additional 100 million US dollars to the project costs, according to Lowe. Today, there is a lack of accountability and a high level of secrecy surrounding the project, he said. The government wasted millions and millions of US dollars of taxpayer money on projects such as the Skeldon Cane Factory and the Fiber Optic Project which were characterized by similar mismanagement and the lack of transparency and accountability. Just as the gas the energy project has grown from several hundred million USD to a total cost of 2 billion, Skeldon went from over 100 million USD to over 200 million. That factory is left to rot and the taxpayers must still pay the loan used to build it. Lowe said that the government is set to borrow heavily on the gas to energy project, but there is no information on the interest rates. The pipeline is being funded by a loan from Exxon. This loan would be repaid from the sale of natural gas. Exxon Bank uh, loan they're looking for, I think 643 million US is the exact number they're looking for from US Exxon Bank. Uh, I've seen some seen 66 there as well floating around. Um, what really I think we should note though is that uh, because we do not know the interest rates that is being charged for that pipeline, which is a billion dollar cost. What that means is um, we don't really know what the price of the natural gas itself will be because with years you could be looking at quite a substantial sum depending on what we're being charged. Uh, is it going to be 25% interest, which is the return on capital that is targeted by many oil and gas companies? Is it going to be... Um, 3% interest, which you might get from a, 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 a multilateral loan. Is it going to be 8% interest, which you might get from a private sector in Guyana? 